believe, but federal authorities are saying a Latino gang tried to drive every black resident out of a local city. More than 50 people were swept up in raids on the Barrio Azusa 13 gang today. KCAL 9's Rachel Kim is live in Azusa with the very latest on this. Rachel. Sharon, law enforcement officials say this bust was the result of a three-year investigation and that this is their latest crackdown on Latino gangs targeting blacks in the L.A. area. Now, a lot of residents here in Azusa know all about Azusa 13, and they're hoping this is now a start to bringing peace to these streets. Azusa's mayor says this city was once known as the hate capital of the valley because of the racial tensions between black and Latino residents. Tonight, federal authorities believe they've taken a big step in trying to stop it. Nearly 20 years ago, the Azusa 13 gang adopted a racist principle to harass and use violence in an effort to drive African Americans out of the city of Azusa. Today, federal and local authorities took down more than 50 people, alleged members of the Barrio Azusa 13 gang. They're the target in a federal racketeering indictment. The indictment alleges that Azusa 13 gang ex exerts its influence through intimidation, extortion, robbery, acts of violence, including murder, and racially motivated attacks on African Americans. Federal prosecutors said the gang has ties to the Mexican mafia and were responsible for drug trafficking and many other crimes. Lifelong Azusa resident Richard Sanchez had friends in Azusa 13. They started running the streets, you know, uh, um, owning the streets, so to speak. When I was in high school, um, um, people used to brag about um, how they would run them out run them out of Azusa. Over the years, Sanchez has witnessed the gang's violence towards African Americans and believes the tension is just as strong today. I really don't see too many blacks in Azusa, put it that way. In fact, according to the latest U.S. Census, 64 percent of the city's residents are Hispanic, nearly 4 percent are black. I think I'd like to see uh, the, the peace, you know, because our, our kids grow up in these streets. Azusa's police chief hopes this bust will bring justice to the victim's family. He also says this is only the beginning that his department will be watching and listening. Reporting live tonight in Azusa, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News.